welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of the Tory Burch Robinson tote. So here's the bag. And I want to say I bought it back in June or July of last year. And the reason why I waited so long before doing a review of the bag was just because I thought I'd be able to give a much more informative bag review if it was something that I had been using for a while. So as you can see, I got the bag in black and it's leather and the texture of the bag is Saffiana leather. And if you don't know what Saffiana leather is, it's that crisscross kind of textured material you see on bags. So I bought the bag from the Tory Burch outlet in Halton Hills, which is just outside of Toronto here. And then afterwards I went to the regular Tory Burch store just to compare the difference between the two bags that the stores carry. I know I probably should have done it beforehand, but the outlet store had a pretty good return policy. So I thought that I'd be okay. So I asked the salesperson, you know, like what's the difference between the Robinson totes that the outlet has and then the Robinson totes that the regular store has and she was like yo you know like there's not really a difference the only real difference is that sometimes the um, outlet store bags will have these little rounded corners and then the regular store doesn't but even sometimes that's not the case either so when you're buying a bag from either of the stores it's really about your own personal preference style wise like if you're okay with the rounded corners or also even your budget. Okay, and if you're looking for bags that are similar in style to this bag, some comparable bags would be the Michael Kors Selma bag, the Michael Kors Sutton bag, and then those two bags are around the same price range. And then on the high end would be the Prada Safiano tote. Okay, so when I was trying to pick a new bag, the two bags that I really had a hard time deciding between was this bag and the Michael Kors Selma. My heart was initially set on the Michael Kors Selma, but what made me pick this bag over that one was just that this bag fits a laptop a lot easier. So the type of laptop I use is a MacBook Pro, and you know, sometimes you want to take, bring your laptop, you know, maybe to work or just to different places, and I just felt that this just it a lot easier because with the Michael Kors Selma I found that my laptop was kind of sticking out of the top a bit too much and I didn't really like that so um, yeah that was really the main difference that made me pick this bag over that one I will say though um, there is a little bit of a difference in the Safiana leather on the bags the Safiana leather on this bag is a lot more smooth the Safiana leather on the Michael Kors Selma is a little bit more textured. So again, it's really just about your own personal preference. So when it comes to caring for the bag, I actually haven't been the best at it just because I was a little rough and I got a little, I got these two little scuffs down here. I don't know if you can really see. So I was trying to, you know, just rub it out with like a with like a damp cloth it's kind of faded now but um yeah definitely be a lot more careful with your bag than I was um also the Tory Burch site has a few care tips so I can actually just read you out a few of them right now um so it says if you have a stain to blot it with a baby wipe or you can use a damp towel with a little bit of baking soda and then softly wipe the area or for really tough stains pot, apply a little bit of rubbing alcohol to a cotton ball and then lightly pack the area but be really careful because the color might be it might lift off off the bag so you definitely don't want that either but um yeah I'll post this link down below because I found it really helpful when it came to caring for the bag and then of course the bag also comes with a dust bag so if you're not using the bag you know be sure to keep you know some type of tissue paper on the inside to help it keep its shape and then put it in the dust bag and put it away somewhere that's not too hot not too cold Here is where the bag has these snaps where you can kind of just pop it open like that and then close it back up again. The bag comes with this long strap as you can see here so it's great um, for you know just slinging across your chest and it's also adjustable as you can see right there. 
Okay, and then up here you can see that there is this double zip. So it's really great for, you know, putting things, little notebooks and stuff on the inside. And then there, that's it open. Let's see if I can adjust that for you guys. And then once you open up the bag up, you've got this big zipper right here and here. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Since I've had this bag for a while, I've got a little bit of stain, so I just hope that you guys are a lot better with your bag than I was with mine. And then you've got these two. And then you've got these two compartments right here. You could probably put like your cell phone or any device here on the inside. And this is how a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina fits into the bag. Here's what the bag looks like on. Here is the dust bag that it comes with. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.